Now it's time for the roundabouts. The roundabouts are a very simple manoeuvre to take into consideration. As long as we remember there's a position, we must be in the right position on the approach of the roundabout, we must be in the right position on the roundabout and leaving it. That is crucial. Remember there's other traffic coming behind you that are depending on you being in the right position to tell them where you're going, not just your indicators. Remember the speed. We must reduce our speed in good time before the roundabout because we have to go through the roundabout only in second gear. Then we have gears. We have to be able to go from fourth gear to third gear to second gear. Each time, remember to take your foot off the clutch in between each gear so it's not the one continuous maneuver. An observation. There's traffic coming at you from most roundabouts at all angles. As long as you're observant, looking left and right more than once, you will be absolutely fine on a roundabout. Okay, now we're approaching a roundabout. Remember, our natural position is always going to be in the centre of the road. That is important. We don't want to be driving too close to the curbs at the side, yet we don't want to be driving too close to the middle of the road. We continue. Straight ahead of us, we can see double white lines starting to appear. Take advantage of that. That's a good distance guide. Once we reach that, we start braking. We brake, we move slightly to the left, clutch in, into third gear. We continue to move slightly to the left, we don't need to indicate. Then we brake, we brake, we brake, clutch in, clutch out, observation to the right, to the left, to the right, and to the left. Once your mirror reaches the island, we indicate off. We maintain our natural position again on this new road to the centre, but we must check our centre mirror to check for traffic coming too close.